Hi, my name is Peter and I'm with Enphase Energy's training and education team. If you're a company that uses subcontractor resources as part of your business, I want to show you how to set up subcontractors for your company in the Enphase system so your subcontractor will have, be able to access, install, commission, and service your customer systems. So let me show you how to do this. For a subcontractor to have access to your system, usually they don't. So you set them up by going to the activations page. So on my screen here, I'm showing the activations page. And um, aside from filling out all this other information, on the bottom, you'll see that there is an authorized subcontractor field. And you'll find that whether you're in the traditional uh, activation page, or even if I go to the new activation page, which I'll show you here, so this is the new activation page. And again, there is an add authorized subcontractor field. Now, if you've tried to access this, you may notice that there's actually nothing there and there's nothing to uh, select. So in order to add a subcontractor into your company, you actually have to add them as an authorized subcontractor so you can select them. So the way you do this is you need to log in to Enlighten um, as an administrator, and this is important. If you're not an administrator, you won't be able to see the option to add the subcontractor. So you need to do this as an administrator. So I've logged in as an administrator to my training company, Enphase Training. And once I'm logged in, I'm on my dashboard that you can see here. And what I'll do is I'll go to the account setting right at the top here, if you can see the account tab. And uh, when I select the account tab, there's all these different um, options. And the one I want is authorized subcontractor. So I'll select that. And you'll see here that I actually have added a subcontractor already. Um, the company is PLUM Solar. Um, and currently it's disabled. Right, so even though I've added it previously, this company is not available. Now I can add an additional subcontractor. For example, if you've not ever added any subcontractor and you wanna add them, your initial way to do this is you go to this page and you go to add authorized subcontractor. And in this case, you can then add um, a company. So if I just say user one at Enphase Training, and I search for that subcontractor, it'll come up with that user. Now, um, you'll wanna find that out from your subcontractor, what you should add there. So I won't add this right now because I already have one, which is PLUM Solar. So um, currently it's disabled and I'll just go ahead and enable it just like I just added it originally. Now, if I go back to my activation page and uh, so I'll go here, and you'll notice that I'm gonna go ahead and refresh my screen. And so we're back to our activations page. I'll go ahead and scroll down. And now in my subcontractor field, if I use the drop down, I see that PLUM Solar is now available, available to me to add as a subcontractor. All right, and then of course I'd fill out the rest of the activation form and then I would save this and you're all set. So again, um, just to review, what you do is you go to Enlighten, um, you go to the Account tab, select Authorized Subcontractor, and then you can go ahead and add additional uh, subcontractors in your field and then they'll be available uh, to, to use uh, when you set up systems. All right, hope this helps. Talk to you soon, bye-bye.